to my channel so in today's video we are keeping all the negativity the envy the weird vibes the everything away from us um just cleansing our space and everything with these evil eye nails um if you don't know what the symbol means definitely google it look it up but it's just keeping all that away from us so these nails are five weeks old if you didn't see the video on this set definitely check it out she had um no lifting they lasted really well they are the opera gel x nails so i just filed off the um gel that she had on and we're gonna do a fill on the gel x so um i am going to prep her nails her natural nails by removing the cuticle from the nail plate and she has a little bit of coarse growth and she she has a little um issue on her pointer that she came in with so her skin was a little um dry. i don't know if she peeled like a hangnail or something there i don't know but that's her business um just look past that guys <laughs> so we're using this and i believe it's the itty bitty bit from light elegance i have their um z bit kit so a lot of the bits i'll be using in this video and probably a lot from now on are from uh, light elegance i have really really liked um the bits that i've tried from them so far the whole little kit they even have one that's for left-handed people that um is great especially if you do your own nails you can use it on your right hand if you are if you are a um, right-handed tech but you like to do your left hand you you know what i'm trying to say yeah you can use it but also if you're a left-handed nail tech you can use it regularly i actually forgot which one it was and used it um just as a finish filing like shaper bit and it did work but it of course is used to go in reverse and for left-handed i'm just letting you know i'm just telling you my story my truth and so i'm using this itty bitty bit and that's removing the dead skin that has grown on the nail plate which is the cuticle which is flaking that off and it's very satisfying as you can see i did actually push um her live skin back her epinacam back and um just because it started it'll start to kind of grow down on the nail plate some and we want to get as much space as possible going on enough area to work with to do our fill get this nice beautiful i always call it this horseshoe shape that's what we try to go for if possible some of us just naturally we don't have that it's more of a square type shape but that's another thing for another time but we try to achieve that so i'm going in with this bit and it's the cutie patootie and they have fun names the cutie patootie bit from light elegance as well this is a diamond bit both of these have been diamond bits which is essentially a metal version of a sanding band it has a nice grip but not teeth or flutes um on it so it's safe to use on the natural nail i'm using both at anywhere between 6,000 and 8,000 rpms just to let you know and this bit actually has the diamond texture the diamond burrs on the um tip of the bit and um so that'll kind of exfoliate the skin and push it back some more then i'm taking their buffy bit and removing the dead skin um on the actual epinicium on on the live skin there is dead skin that has flaked up so we want to get that off so you can see i'm using this bit going from left to right i'm right-handed so this means that this drill bit is in going in reverse and i like to use this bit going both ways forward and reverse so i switched it and now i'm going forward which means i'm going from right to left again i'm right-handed all this is the opposite if you're left-handed and you know as i mentioned i like to go both ways because one you can get in certain angles better going one way than the other going in reverse for me allows me to get the right side of her nail what is my right side of her nail much easier and then vice versa so i like to go both ways and then sometimes the skin will flake up kind of going one way versus the other 
So then I'm going back in with that um, itty bitty bit. I um, Once I pushed everything back more and got everything clean, I kind of felt I had a better sight. Um, and the nail folds and the sidewalls kind of seeing what was dead and still growing. So there's nothing wrong with going back and touching up. So then I dust the nails off, I cleanse them with, spray them down with some alcohol, use a nail brush, just get those all cleaned up. So then I am going to dehydrate the nails, and then I'm also using Light Elegance's Air Bond, and that is actually a um, a nail primer that reacts with the moisture in the nail so it is great for people who have um more oily nail beds who come in contact with um water more so i'll be able to report back over time how i feel like this product works i don't see why it wouldn't i mean she her nails already wore very great but if this is a great addition so i'm using the clear rubber base from gel bottle ink and yes i'm mixing systems but i promise i'm gonna get it together and i um applied that as a base gel and as another form of adhesion and um then i'm using the gel bottle ink what is this teddy i believe and I am going in and doing a fill with this and then going over the rest of that Gel X tip. Now, I do want to add, um, when I decided that this is what was going to happen, I kind of filed the nails down more. And excuse her nails, they're stained underneath. She's not grimy, y'all. They're stained. So when I decided that this was what we were going to do, and we kind of didn't know at first, so excuse me. Um, these are real life clients, y'all. So sometimes I don't catch things. We're, you know, determining um, what we're going to do and everything like that. So for a hot second at first, we didn't exactly know what was going on. And so I didn't capture the removal of the product and then the thinning out of the gel X tip. And I just did it a little bit just um, so that I could build the nail up with a nude. That's what I decided I wanted to do. Um, I could have painted a nude gel, but I didn't want to do that because I feel like it would bulk up the nail too much, the free edge, because I knew we were doing swirls and everything so you know sometimes you want to consider what you're doing as to if you want to you know polish a nude build the nail from a nude the simplicity simplicity in the time etc etc so i'm applying a slip layer at first which is a thin layer of the gel product we would just polish it on like you would anything get as close to the live skin as possible without actually touching it and then not curing it and taking a bigger bead of the product and floating that on top in that slip layer is it's in it's in its name it allows the product to slip and slide that's not part of the name <laughs> it allows it to slip and kind of guides it and tells it where to go it checks the scene out and says okay come on we're cool here and that's always going to be my best description. So I'm just going in and um, applying that. And it's fairly simple, honestly. It really is. And then I uh, shape the nails off camera. And then I am using the shaper bit, again, from my elegance. And doing exactly that, shaping the surface of the nail. And I do want to talk with you guys about gel. Because some of you guys are like, oh, why don't you do acrylic? Honestly, I don't, and don't go run in, if you're a nail tech, or if you're just a regular person, or something like that, don't go run in and telling other nail techs that I'm over here like, oh, acrylic's bad. I just don't, and you guys know, I I literally do get it, I started off my nail career with it, I built a large part of my following, mostly, majority of it, from acrylic, so I'm not a hater, I, I don't feel uncomfortable with it. It, it's just once you experience gel, and especially in America, we're not exposed to builder gel or hard gel like that. It's not what we grow up as little girls seeing in the nail shop and 
things like our little boys that's not what we are accustomed to but honestly guys give it give it a chance give it a shot you will find it much easier especially if you're a beginner nail tech between builder gel hard gel the same thing we use it interchangeably um now hard gel and soft gel we do not use interchangeably but this is not the lesson and also poly gel give those give it a try i promise you especially if you're a new nail tech starting out you may feel like you want to give up like you can't get it down and like i'm telling you 76 percent of the issue is just trying to get acrylic ratios down getting a brush that's the right size that doesn't pick up too much liquid too little liquid how much do you wipe off the brush do we get air bubbles out of course we do blah 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 what's the liquid ratio what's the powder ratio there's not technically a measurement oh no do we now there's stuff gunking up in my brush i can't even apply it at the cuticle area properly because the bristles bristles are stuck together there's so much to worry about with acrylic even before you apply it on the nail so that's just me trying to convince you guys to try builder gel out and that's it that's my that's my case today <laughs> um so i applied young nails protein bond and then i'm applying another layer of that same builder gel uh just to get it a little more even because um again at a certain point like i said we didn't know what we were doing and then i figured we were doing something new that i wanted to draw with then i realized what we were doing and so i want to just even out that nude a little more and you see i kind of filed some of it away um from the um, sides of the nail so i'm just applying a thin layer and i'm applying it just like i would gel polish that's really all I'm doing at this point. So I'm using it as gel polish. I'm not building it up or anything like that. And then I cure it and wipe the tacky layer off because we're going to do nail art. And tacky layers really make it difficult to um, do that. Also, um, and I'm using, which white am I using? I believe I'm using the white from Wildflowers, one of their art paints or perfect white no i don't think i'm using perfect white from uh, madam glam i am not no sure or it might be a sample one i have e either way i'm using a beautiful white and we're just going to draw this swirl type designs my client actually brought me an inspo pick and um it is really late when i'm doing this and when i edited this so I don't want to message her and bother her about um, sending me the picture. Or maybe she, I don't even know if she still has it. Um, so if you know who did these nails or a set that looks like this, I got the inspiration from them. Okay, I'm going to make it up. The end. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just drawing these shapes. Uh, looking at the inspiration pig like i said this is a very simple set overall but you know i want to get you guys out content i have a ton of videos in my phone to edit so i'm not at a lack for content i've actually had now have to balance between working on clients editing getting videos up and out and other things that i'm doing in real life <laughs> And yeah, but I promise you guys, we're getting it out. I just gotta, yeah. <laughs> so I am using the Striper Bright brush. This is the Poochie's Nails one. As I always mention, Wildflowers Nails makes a great one. And I'm sure so many other companies do. But I've really been enjoying this brush so far. So I'm just drawing the shape that i'm looking for and then filling the bulk of it in with the actual um brush to the gel polish and then um for this shape it was a little easier to use the actual gel polish brush for that and then kind of go in with a striper and clean it up some get it precise but yeah so after we get this right I'm adding, I had just some little kind of 
uh, wispy lines like that. I had to pull through with a brush. I messed this up many a times. Just trying to get that wisp right. Just uh, <laughs> effortless. And so I finally get it and cure it. And I like to cure. Once I get something good on the nail, especially with nail art, once I get it right, I like to cure it and lock it in. Because the last thing I want to do is accidentally touch it. And my client accidentally touch it and mess it up. So I'm constantly switching hands and switching nails and curing to make sure I um don't mess up a good thing. And y'all know, I will always tell y'all it's hard for me to do swirly type design so once i get that right oh yeah i'm locking it in <laughs> real quick so um once we do these white swirls we'll go ahead with our evil eye design i'm using take me to mykonos which is a beautiful blue a more azul it's a like, yeah you know and perfect black and then i'm using i believe perfect white no the wildflowers gel paint white so this is a very simple design and um it is it's a symbol so yes there are more realistic eyes that you can draw i love to I, i've never tried to do a realistic eye that was i went to um art school and it was something i would always draw as one of my things that i love to perfect is a nice beautiful realistic eye but that's not what we're here for it is a symbol in certain cultures and as mentioned at the beginning of the video it's to um basically in short reflect negativity envy um away from you and um so you'll see people you know wear charms and necklaces and yeah um just as a symbol of that and to keep badness away <laughs> And I'm getting my head up and <laughs> my hair was all in the camera and stuff. So we just did a, just with a daughter tool, a bigger circle of dark blue, a smaller circle of white, an even smaller circle of that light blue, and then a little dot of black in the center. It was that easy. That was the most simplistic aspect of this. And then I'm adding one last, I forgot this little wisp swirl on the thumb. And then we're going to go ahead and top coat with a great no wipe top coat of your choice or a stain resistant top coat um, because it is white. And a great one is a super shiny from Light Elegance. And um, there's one, Young Nails makes one. Um, if you know one, leave it down below. And if you like this set, go ahead and leave a little evil eye emoji down below we're gonna keep all the negativity away we'll see like in itself we shouldn't get no thumbs down on this video it's not the most difficult it's not the craziest art but just let's see how long we can keep the thumbs down away so put the evil eye emoji down below just to keep that that energy away from this video so i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to thumbs up like comment and thank you guys for watching. Bye.